What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Pastor Bo. Well, welcome, 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 brothers and sisters in the Lord, to the Brian Watkins channel yet again. I am Pastor Frederick Bowden, uh, along with my dear, dear brother in the Lord. Well, not here in person, but in spirit, I'm talking about Pastor Robert Demjanovic of the As We Gather Ministries. That's www.awgm.us. Well, Brother Brian, I thank you for continuously bringing us on your channel. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's such a blessing to be able to fellowship with you as well as your over 2.2 million viewers. Thank you, viewers. Hey, he said thank you, viewers. And you know, I got my thank you in there as well. Well, God bless you all. And I thank you for tuning in to hear another word and a message from the Lord. And I thank God Almighty for blessing me to be able to be one of his many, many servants. Amen. Amen. It is a blessing, brothers and sisters, and you can serve God as well. All you got to do is open up your mouth and tell someone about the word that you heard or the word that you read and study. And all of a sudden, you're sharing God's word. You're doing his work. You're spreading the gospel, the good news. Amen. Amen. Be a worker of the Lord. But for right now, join me in prayer. Most gracious and loving Father in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you, Father God, for another beautiful day that you have made in Jesus' name. Father God, allow your word and your message that you're funneling through me on this day to go deep, deep into the spirits, minds, and hearts of my brothers and sisters, your children, who are watching and listening, listening, Father, for they are thirsty and they are hungry for your very word. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with it this day. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, praise God, brothers and sisters. He has blessed you and I with a new day to be witnesses of. Witnesses of what? Of his love. He loves you and I so much that he has, has allowed us to live another day. Now, if you're wondering about those who did not wake up this morning, First and foremost, keep them, their families rather, in your prayers. Keep their families in your prayers. But brothers and sisters, every day that God shows his love unto us, out of many, many different ways, one of the ways is allowing us to awaken within that new day. We should follow God's word, holy scriptures, live our lives according to that word. So when that next day come, that new day come, if we don't awaken here in the flesh and spirit, we shall awaken in glory, going before our Lord and Savior at that seat of judgment to hear our names read out of the book of life by our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. So it's important, brothers and sisters, not just to hear God's word, but to live it. Well, speaking of God's word, I'm coming today, I'm looking in the book of Hebrews, looking in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, and I'm looking at verse, verse 24, verse 24 and verse 25. Please join me. God's word reads, by faith, Moses when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Well, praise God for that word. Praise God for that word. Brothers and sisters, God says that when Moses came of years. In other words, when he came of age, when he was old enough where he began to really understand what was going on and what had been going on as far back as his mind can remember. I don't know, maybe one, two, three years of age. Think back as far as you can to the memory of when you were a child. Amen. 
Amen. Well, anyway, so Moses began to ponder and look around and see what's going on in Pharaoh's house. But then Moses looked past Pharaoh's house into God's people's homes. Well, Moses made that decision. He would rather be with his people knowing that they were suffering than to continue to live under the house of Pharaoh, knowing that that's where all the parties, all the riches, all the loud talking, the drinking, all the sitting up on the throne, looking down on other people, had other people by the hundreds, the thousands, running at his every beck and call. Do this, do that, go here, get this. Well, Moses realized because remember, he became of age. He began to understand what was going on and he realized that all of that was sinful living. So he decided to do it the right way. Brothers and sisters, doing things the right way doesn't always mean ice cream and cake. It doesn't mean sunshine and the neighborhood park where the swings and the sliding board is. But it can mean pain, tears. It can mean agony, suffering. But brothers and sisters, Moses made that decision. This is why it was written in God's word, not just to tell us about what Moses had done, because remember I said a moment ago, we don't want to be just hearers of God's word, but doers. That's in God's word. Amen. Amen. So many people whom God has blessed to pick up pad and pen to write down his word was our examples. Even our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus was our example. Amen? Amen. Well, Moses is letting us know that, yeah, a lot of things in life, it looks good, smells good, tastes good. You can't wait to get your hands on it. But the reality of it is, brothers and sisters, is not good for us. Your mind may be trying to tell you, oh, yes, it is. But God's word is saying, oh, no, it's not. That's why we have to study God's word so we'll understand how to live this life and why we should live this life according to God's word. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. But we're going on. We, now, we're still here in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Uh, I just got you talking about verse 24. Let's go over verse 25 again, please. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Brothers and sisters, this world of the flesh and spirit is coming to an end. I'm not sure if you're old enough where you experience a loved one passing away, a friend, a neighbor. I'm not sure if you've ever been to a funeral or not, or if you even heard of a funeral. Depending on how old you are, you may be one of those three or four year olds. But thank God that you're allowing your family to come together to watch this ministry that's going on through the Brian Watkins channel. But brothers and sisters, you would rather. Now, God doesn't force himself upon us. I've said it many times before. That's why we see what we see and go through what we go through in this life. But. Remember, God does not force himself upon us, but he is with us. He's with us. You, you may say, well, where was God when um, I got uh, into uh, uh, some trouble with the law? Well, first of all, who fault was it that you got in that trouble? Second, you got in trouble with the law and you wasn't scraped up off the ground by the law and the morgue. In other words, what I'm saying is that, yeah, we go through some things in life. I mean, some some real down, down times. But if it wasn't for God, whom you may wonder, well, where was he? He was right there with you. Why didn't you think things didn't get worse than what they already were? Amen. And thank you, God. Brothers and sisters, 
what you are thinking about and wondering about and even planning on how to live your life according to this world because the world made it look so enticing. It's like a commercial. You won't have any thought whatsoever on buying a new car, a new sandwich at the a, a local restaurant. But the commercial is so enticing, before you know it, you're calling up your bank to see how much of a car loan you can get. You're digging in your purse or your wallet or even looking in the cushions on your couch trying to find some loose change to go get that new sandwich. And here you probably just ate 15 minutes ago. It's because these commercials entice you, excuse me, entice you, us, to come and purchase what they are advertising. Well, brothers and sisters, the world is advertising 24 days, seven days a week. The world, not just the world per se itself, but what all goes hand in hand with the world. Old nature, flesh. Brothers and sisters, put some thought into how you're thinking about living out your life, knowing that there's consequences. But when you live your life according to Holy Scriptures, Moses made his mind up. He came out of faith. He said, well, I may be suffering now, but I have faith that once that time comes, the end of that season comes. I shall enjoy life everlasting. I shall enjoy the riches that was promised unto me by God. Well, brothers and sisters, I thank you all yet again for tuning in to the Brian Watkins channel. I am Pastor Frederick Bolden of the As We Gather Ministries, www.awgm.us. God bless you all and keep pushing that share button. And when you go over to the As We Gather Ministries website, Push the share button there as well and leave a comment. And remember, rather the As We Gather Ministries website or the Brian Watkins website, whatever you do, or Brian Watkins channel, whatever you do, if you have a request for a prayer, if you have a question to ask, or maybe you don't have a request for a prayer or you may not have a question to ask, would you like to leave a comment? Please do so. But for right now, I just want to ask you to please join me in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you for another day, another message, and another word that you have brought unto us in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you, and I ask that you strengthen my brothers and sisters, your children who have fallen weak to the advances of the world, trying to entice them to be a part of it in Jesus' name. Father God, strengthen them to pull away and say, no, I'm going to be like Moses. I, I'd rather go through the woes of life being a Christian than to enjoy one season of sin and forfeit life everlasting. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you in faith. I thank you for not only hearing but answering these prayers. Thank you, Father. And in Christ Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Brothers and sisters, at the end of the prayer, I know some of you felt a spark, a spark in your, your, your mind, a spark in your heart a spark in your spirit because you probably already was doing the wrong things in life or you was thinking about doing it. But through that prayer, I pray and I know that that prayer has been answered that some of you have gotten that spark and took that spark to heart. And you're going to begin to pull away, pull away from things that you thought were okay or in many cases you knew it wasn't okay. But you wanted to fit in with the crowd. Well, the crowd was leading you the wrong way. 
by you following Christ, you're on your way. The right way, the righteous way. Amen. Amen. Well, Brother Brian, I appreciate you, brother. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, hey, it's, it's a blessing. And uh, keep Brother Brian Watkins in your prayers as well. Brothers, yeah, thank you. He said thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he did prayers too. <laughs> we all do. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, brothers and sisters. And until next time, amen, amen. Praise God. Amen.